Dear diary, um, the storm has settled, but the question still stands, who am I, what am I? I'm a mom, a sister, a friend, a daughter, a lover, a healer. The hardest chapter of my life must be the part of being Isangoma. Who is she? For once, I, I, I'm, I think I understand better. This life chose me and for most of us as Lucy kids, we often question why us, why us? <laughs> I do not care how you look at it. We were born for this. Our lives often filled with complexities and a lot of things. But in the midst of that, we always rise I look back at my childhood and it's more of a vivid memory because I don't recognize that person I had to die someone might think we're in a cult (laughs) yeah we are in a cult because it's a secret it's like a family secret type of thing and not everyone gets to go through this and you're born already next in line to reign in that century or that generation of your existence so to go into the cult you need to go through the whole nine yards you know and end up drinking goat's blood (laughs) i didn't even know that was the thing thing but i fought it with all my heart i didn't know that that was my destiny Well, if this is a cult, whatever it is, being Utogoza or being Umgoma has to be my biggest flex. Life as a gifted child or as Utogoza or Umgoma is a mind-blowing experience. Every day I wake up, I'm like, what's next? What's going to happen? I've experienced a lot of things that could have made me not want to be Isangoma anymore. But I look back, I'm like, damn, I needed that. You know, there's a beauty always behind the pain. Yo, my God. So, this diary station is for every person that is watching me that is often feeling lost and heavy and you know what why me why me this road is not for everyone and it's an ever-changing journey and that's how it's meant to be you don't have to understand it you don't have to understand everything the fucked up part is people want to act like they know all this shit they know nothing remember it's a journey and everyone is walking their own journey so the problem we have is always wanting to base our experience on someone else's journey and we shouldn't enjoy your experience i carry all titles but i think those titles i carry those are just titles that i fit into this natural or real world or whatever you choose to call it but in all reality is I'll always be agent code Gogun Gomiasawa and that's the reality. I'm just camouflaged as a parent. I transported I transported other gifted kids. I'm healing gifted kids. You know, I'm just camouflaged in this thing. But to be quite honest, I am working for the world I am in. Never have I imagined that I would wake up and talk to beings 
see things like I'm recording this diary station right now never have I imagined so if someone says it's just drunk and stupid I can boldly tell you that I worship my ancestors because I am my gift I am nothing without my gift I wish I could put you inside my head right now for you to understand where I'm coming from. This is, must be one of the most mind-blowing experiences I've ever had to walk in my living experience coming back as Udin Po Michelle Mvundla, who later on transitioned or rather met her truth as Uko Kungo Miyazawa. The question is, do you know who you are? Do you know the power that you carry? Do you know the power and the responsibility? You are reigning right now. This is your season of reigning. You are reigning. This generation you are in, you will be forever remembered as he or she that reigned. And you're going to pass on the baton or the cult, whatever it is, to someone else. And they are also going to be remembered. Because remember, you've been entrusted to carry the family legacy and secrets. So, in your generation of reigning, make it worth your while. Stop feeling like your gift is a prison. Stop looking at yourself and judging yourself. And, oh my gosh, I need to live like a nun. Live within your gift. It is not your imprisonment. Look at Cyril. Think of yourself as Cyril and the five years he's ruling as your generation. You have the power to appoint your cabinet. You have the... Listen, do you know the power that you have? And you're going to sit in the corner and while... Do you think Cyril is happy every day? He's not. He's stressed as fuck. Maybe right now he's having a glass of something. But he keeps on doing the job because this life chose him. And for him to get to that top, it was a struggle. So we don't want to struggle. We struggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the fruits, trust me, they are fucking worth it. So, dear diary, I'm here to say I'm grateful. I don't think if it wasn't for my... Honestly, if it wasn't for my ancestors, I don't think I'd be this grounded when it comes to life. I'm such a strong woman. You know what I mean? I am I'm bold. I'm strong. i got presence. You feel me. Even when you don't see me, you feel me. When you say my name... Demons shake. People that Azel, they Azel. You know, in my year of reigning, my name will never be forgotten. That's the chat. I'm not here to be forget me now. No, you will know about me because I am poor or my Lucy. So, dear Lucy, <laughs> I love you. Thank you. The responsibility is a great umkele uyasida. But thank you. And the journey continues. The full moon is gone. We're in a retrograde. And it's another transition also that we are going through. Now this transition retrograde is gonna be very interesting. <laughs> if you think Mokoa, welcome to another chapter of Umkowa. But this time, look at it as a healing journey for yourself. Healing and letting go and blossoming into your best, best parts of yourself. Are you ready? Are you ready? (laughs) Well, I'm running out of ink. Or rather, let me say, I'm running out of things to say. Because I've said what I needed to say. So... I want you to always come back to this video 
and reference to it whenever you're going to shit or rather you feel like your life or rather your spiritual journey is stressing you out. Always say, Angi kongedwa. If Mpo could do it, so can I. Ni vume ugufa at the age of 22 years. I'm 29, going on 30. I'm still growing. Yes, if it wasn't for that, you know, I'm doing some shenanigans out in the street. But look at me. Because of my ancestors. You have to think twice before you can. You understand? So, don't judge yourself. You were born for this. This is your truth. This is your purpose. It is your gift. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video of vlog. But don't forget to leave your comments down below. Like this video. Subscribe. Just like in the whole direction the channel is taking, you know. We are elevating and we are reflecting and we are growing and transitioning together. And I think relatability is the best thing you can find out here on these social streets. I'm giving you a relatable story. I'm a beautiful woman. I'm hot in Yababa. But I'm navigating the spiritual world, which is mind-blowing. It's sometimes I sit alone and you bear me into fuck <laughs> i'm living a movie because who lives like this you know what i mean so know that you are you were next in line now you are reigning and they don't want to reign that is why they're struggling in life that is why they're stuck in life that is why you know what i mean so you know, it's a lot, but take take back your power, take back your energy, own your truth, own your throne. You're bigger than what you think. If you think Ubungoma is Ukbola Namatambo or no Klali, you have nothing. You don't know ours next. You have you don't know what's in store for you. Take the first leap. Stop doubting. Let go of the doubt and the guilt and the anxiety. Just take the leap of faith. Because it is your purpose. XOXO. Signing out. <laughs> wow.